dedicated Bruce from Dead. Today I'm gonna go back to a game that literally gave me a mental breakdown the last time that I touched it. And I'm seriously afraid that this thing is going to happen again. So please bear with me. Wish me all the best of luck because I hope that my time, my precious time, while playing this game, editing my videos, doing daily YouTube content is actually worth it. Playing this game, I'm only doing this for you, my dedicated pros and protects, okay? And for simple games, because it's his 18th birthday. You may have heard from him. He is actually the winner of the Rejected Creep Pass to Challenge Season 2 of his game, The Big Day. So if you want to support me, and hopefully we're not suffer from another mental breakdown, make sure to smash the like button, it's very, very much appreciated. And without the further delay, let's start it. Warning, if you're easily scared or have any stress, anxiety of any kind from this game, exit now. This is a friendly puzzle platformer game that should be played at your own risk. If you are fine with all of this, then click this button here. Jump scares Bro. aren't intended, Rene, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, this is freaking creepy. <laughs> Still a beta, but now you can save at least something. So what's going on my dedicated bros from Deaths? Welcome back again to Buttons and Boxes, an amazing indie platformer rage game created by Simple Games, very, very big dedicated bro. If you want to see how I was actually suffering from a mental breakdown, I'm going to link it down in the description below my dedicated bros and let's start the game. Sometimes you've got to go fast. I liked it. Oh, and I liked the loading screen as well. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. You must be the uh, new attendee, right? Yeah, okay, man. Just hit the lights real quick. Ow! Uh, yeah, geez, it's 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 actually bright, really blinding. Uh, uh, okay, let's let's try that again. Oh god, what's this button here? And the switches here. I'm waiting, bro. There we go. There we go. Lights are on. Damn, it's as spooky. As it used to be. I hope that the AI of the enemies is also a little bit different. The last time, they were just chasing you, then they were not chasing you, just you might surprising be you. It's so dark in there still. Yeah, oh, man. There's a door in your way. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Here's the area. Cool. Well, it's, it's actually very, very fun. Anywho, uh, I'll tell you what you need to do. Okay. So here's just a basic Bruh. puzzle to get used to what's going on here. It's more of a platformer room, and it may look easy, but believe me, it's really more difficult than you think. Nah, but I, I, I have to say, few will be it's a, a better. lot better than the previous time, because the jumping didn't feel natural in the previous Good, episode. This time, it's okay. It's okay. To, uh, complete that, to be honest with you. Whoa. Anyways, uh, on to the next area. Oh, there are the enemies again. Shh. Keep Shh. quiet. Shh. You see those guys over there? Yeah, avoid them. They're pretty slow, but if they do spot you, like any of them, try to hide away somewhere. But be sure you're out of their sight. Try to sneak by if you can. Okay, so we already made that, we already did that in a previous episode. Try to sneak by. Can I even sneak? Bro, we can't even sneak. Okay, so we have to take this blockerino. And go fast, go like this. Hell yeah, did they already spot me? Bro, MLG kid, MLG kid. Oh, that was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Bro, did any one of them actually spot me? Because it looked like this guy was actually after me. Yo, what's oh, up? oh, okay, okay. I just gonna run for it. Run, 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 run. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Okay, I don't I don't dare to to turn around now because I know what is happening hmm. if I mess it up. I feel like there should be something here, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe I just forgot to put something here. Just carry on with the button and the box. I hope so, bro. That's safe. Like the last time when I had to do this whole puzzle thing, it took me, I don't know, 10 minutes just to get there. And now we were literally speedrunning this. So a lot better. A lot better. Oh, yeah. That dog is now coming. We're just gonna ignore the doggos and run. Mm. Okay, the doggos didn't spot me. Like the previous time, the AI, the AI was like very, very weird. And even if you respawned, the, the enemies were staying at oh, the same place where they killed you. Hmm. It was weird. Look at you make it through all those rooms. But uh, I've got something special for you now. This is basically a boss. And I kid you not, I named him Gerald. 
Gerald, he's back. My naming logic, but here okay, he is. the music is the back. The one, the only, Gerald. Whoa! <laughs> Look at him. To defeat Gerald, I'm telling you now guys, first, it gave me a mental breakdown. A certain gun. Yeah, okay. and we had to do this. We had to get up there. You need to do two things. I'll tell you the first one. Just press the button up there on the top. Watch out for enemies. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it was a watch out for enemies that already died. Like, I didn't spot the one enemy. Okay. Take care. We're gonna save the progress now. <sighs> I don't want to do this again. It took me, like, two hours just to get up there the last time. That's why I actually got this metal break that my dedicator bros. Let's see. Didn't notice me. Oh, this bitch boy. Bro. What happened now? Oh, it seemed like he actually killed me. Oh, did I die because I fell down? What the, the fuck? fuck? That would be my dedicated bros and smash the like button now because my sanity. I'm already going insane. I can feel it. Nein! Oh yeah, of course. He's trying to shoot me with his orange blocks. Maybe the orange blocks killed me. His orange blocks won't hit me when I'm on this elevator platform. Okay. All about the right timing. Okay, I already gotta tell you, the jumping feels a lot better than in the previous version of this game. No, last time I said that Symbol Games literally is Satan for creating this game. It now feels a lot smoother. My goodness. It also doesn't look too hard. Because these platforms are not constantly spinning anymore. Oh shit, maybe I'm taking everything back, bro. These games like these did a quick save function, bro. Because if I'm messing this up, holy shit. Okay, there's this motherfucker camping on this platform. I didn't forget about you, okay? Damn, this is a lot easier now. Bro, Sybil Games, you really, really listened to my feedback, didn't you? Oh, okay, this is another elevator platform. Okay. Geronimo! Geronimo! Okay. They didn't attack me? Bro, so press the button. We right. did it! Alright, good. What you have to do next is press the button way over there to turn it on. It's the same thing as first, just get up the thing and press it. Okay, okay. I'm sure they can do this, okay? I'm sure they can do this. You know, the last time when I did that. Oh, I'm still alive. It took me two hours to get up there. And then, they told me and revealed that there is another part where I have to get up. I thought I'm going to die in real life, my dedicated bros. I'm very, very glad that Symbol Games actually has updated this. Did I die? I think I died. Nah, come on. I didn't even see that you hit me, bro. Fuck my life, I have to get up there again. There should be at least a checkpoint, okay? After pressing this stupid button, checkpoint, please, okay? Best way to describe this game, platformer rage horror game. That is also breaking the fourth wall. We're gonna have some chasing music now, when they're after you. They, oh, oh, what the fuck? They can actually jump to me? Bro. Okay, once we're up there, I think they won't be able to hit us anymore. Okay, nothing to worry about anymore. Except for these bitches that are camping up there, fuck. Hey, at least this isn't as buggy as it used to be because these platforms are like super buggy. Okay, we made it. No, 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 no! Okay. I died? I died again? Why did I die? What the? What the? Oh! Oh! Bro, how am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to make this? Okay. That was a good trick. Oh! Bro, sometimes he was right. We literally just have to go fast. I was going supersonic fast and made it. Bro, I don't know, I don't know. Oh! No, 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 no! He's on a platform! He's on a platform! He's on a platform? Oh my gosh, he's, he's walking me there. Is he falling? If he's landing right next to me, then I'm pissed. All good. He's actually on a spinneroony platform. No, 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 no. Don't get. Don't rush yourself. Don't rush yourself. Look at that. Luigi kill us. Calm. Get to the gun and shoot what he throws at you before you start shooting him with the gun. 
So, headshots, this is the way to go. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought for one second that I died, bro. Yeah. Fuck you, Gerald. Good job. Just uh, grab his head and place it Damn. over there. We did and, it, my uh, dedicated bro. Tutoring area will be done. This time it only took me like 20 minutes to beat it. Wow, that is a huge improvement, my dedicated bros and that. And I really can't complain about that. I'm happy. I'm seriously happy about this. So, did he add any more stuff that in this game? Sure was nice, huh? <laughs> no. Then you made it through. Actually, wait. Before anything else, I should probably tell you what you should do. You see that meat over there? You're supposed meat? to put it in that cage that you see before you. And you need to press that button next to the cage after to uh, lure over that dog. In order to progress to the level, <sighs> the dog needs to enter the cage and the cage needs to close within the time. And okay, I thought. I have noticed this that human flesh. when you run sideways and forward or backwards, you go faster. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but if the dog spots you, I'd recommend trying it. Otherwise, you're not going to get away from him. Bro, easy. Oh shit, he's still after me. Bro, I'm just gonna run this. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> Why is this dog so fast? Can I maybe jump above him? <laughs> Fuck you, doggo. Let's go. What? what was that beep? I'm telling you, I got the feeling that this game is gonna turn darker and darker soon. Bro, am I... Am I trapped in this cage? Why am I trapped in this cage? Can you please kill me, bro? Bro, they're now both in here. Why am I trapped? I swear to God. I'm quitting now? And I hope if I'm now getting back into the game that it actually saves, okay? Try to avoid errors. Was it part of the game? <laughs> oh my gosh. Forgot that this game actually has the fucking jump scares, man. It happened again. Attack when they aren't looking. Can you even attack? The frick? <laughs> what was that? Wasn't he inside? I was pressing the button. Buttons and boxes. Buttons and boxes. When you get inside the goddamn cage, it's closing from itself. Why does this happen? Got another buggy mess. <laughs> Where the fuck did you come from? I thought there's a chase music. They don't even care about the meat inside the cage. <gasps> what the fuck? Yeah, there's one dog in there. <laughs> Where's the other? There's the other. Follow me. <laughs> what the fuck was jumping above you? <laughs> Juan! Hund! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Finally, he took the You know, the shit is, these cages are, are closing from himself. Finally, bro, save. Save. I hope this is the end. No, of course this is not the end. I, I do you really want me to get up there? Get the fucking block and put these freaking doggers into cage? How is that supposed to work, bro? I don't know why I'm still alive. I don't know why I'm still here. Place the meat, place the block. What else? What else? Get the fucking meat! Nope. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, the cages are closed. Oh, my. Nope. Goodness, what the fuck? Get in the fucking cage, you! Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Finally! They're all trapped. Please tell me that this is the end of the puzzle and the end of the game. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Pretty good on that one. I would say you're doing fantastic, but that feels kind of overused. Anywho, uh, actually, before you go any further, 
don't take this too harshly, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of the demo again. I know Thank you goodness. want a third level or something, but I can't really add any more to this. At this point, if you really like the game and want to support me on, like, Patreon or YouTube, preferably Patreon, I could really use the support, then, uh, go right ahead. I can guarantee you that you will enjoy the perks. But, uh, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this one, unlike the last one, with all the glitchy movements and all the game soft locks. I'm talking to you, Rene, if you're actually the one playing this. I am the one playing but, this! Uh, and bro, you yeah, broke me again! Will... The game was good, but I was recording over an hour once again, just to beat this fucking dog part, because there was a fucking soft lock glitch. You fixed most of the stuff in the, in the first tutorial level, but the second level actually made me break my goddamn cyberpunk chair. But there's also something that I promised to all games, my dedicated bros. It broke my sanity, my mentality. It broke everything again. Please guys, smash the like button so I can have a little bit of joy in my life again. And I promised him that I will react to the hidden lore behind these games. I know that his games are actually good. The games that he submitted to the Glitchy Creepbuster Challenge where there was not too much rage and stuff. Holy shit, those were amazing. And because of that, we're gonna watch more stuff of him. Footage could not be found by Symbol okay. Games. Okay, as you can see. Wait, is every fucking video of Symbol Games not personalized oh. as well? Because it kind of looks like that. Ragdoll testing. This ragdoll copies the movement of this guy. He goes right through him. He has a face. Collision. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's supposed to be when we do, some scary horror stuff. We can tell. Be able to be grabbed. I just need to line it up. There we go. If I grab with this too. Whoa! Well, he's turning to Squidward or something. <laughs> what is that game actually down there? It says Reddit E for everyone. Can you make it out? <laughs> Let go of the box! Whoa! Oh dear god, what am I doing? You fly. No, stop. <laughs> oh. Well, I could always just... What? Oh, did, did the lights just turn off? Wait. I... Light just turn out. Okay, that's pretty weird. I don't know why my light just. <laughs> what, bruh? Why'd my monitor turn off? That would be low key yeah, taste. There. I think seems all right. All right. Now we just need to look behind you. Look behind you? Bro, he's not alone. Shit's just... about to get scary. Shit's about to- WHOA! <laughs> hey, that was a little yeah. too bad. <laughs> Bro, I actually just wanted to see you've got some nice bandy plushies there. Whoa, movement safety test. This is a safety test of buttons and boxes. Bro. With new player movement. The save and load features have been 50% progressive. They Please will soon be finished. Very soon. I think I may have finally figured out how to save the options. This will cover how the player will move. I mean, it kind of has the portal vibes, doesn't it? We should so jump all the way up. But and we should be able damn, to get the, the game box is hard. Closely. If you love Dark Souls and Demon Souls, even love see, hard games in general, then problem. enjoy a hard platform a game, okay? I turned off the audio because I didn't want to hear my own voice, as many people do. It's actually very sad because in this game, the big day, he actually made a game about his voice, pretty much, and everyone was annoyed by it. Bro, your voice is nice. It's around here. Whoa! There was a creature. Looks like everything is glitched. Or maybe in the next version of Buttons and Boxes, we're gonna get to see a very dark fucking game. It's gonna turn out to be, I don't know, some Doki Doki Literature Club stuff. And these demos are all just to hype us up. Trying to, I don't know, lead us into um, the wrong direction. Now, this is just my theory. That was the movement safety test. Very weird. 
time of death. As far as I know, I think this video has something to do with the game, The Big Day, the Lugica Creepbuster Challenge Season 2 submission, which won this challenge. It was one of the greatest games and scariest games and most unsettling games I've ever played. I would actually suggest you to check this Hello one out. to all of you young viewers at home. And hopefully the families are closest to you. This is your local news station with some devastating news tonight. Within the confines of nearby private school, City High School, there has been a death discovered in the school's theater. Mm -hmm. The time and date of death was on November 16th, 2020, at 6.18 a.m. Eastern Time. The cause of death was through suicide. The method described was a long rope forming a noose that was tied to the bars at the top of the stage. Guys, there's always the a way was none other than without suicide. Who was the victim? There is this creature again. Also notice that it's this creature that we have seen zero, in the movement one, safety test. Zero, 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 one. This this thing was the same creature in perception error. Binary code. Zero, one, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero. We have to write this whole binary text down with dedicated rows. One, one, zero, one, one. No. Man, I don't like that. I don't like if he's doing stuff like that. You're not the victim symbol, games, bro. You're amazing. Don't do this. And scrapes on his legs. His eyes were completely bloodshot from the possibility of tears being formed as he was contemplating his demise. His hands and fingers seemed to have turned purple with a faded side of blood on them. What the fuck? As if the victim were trying to get out of it. Unfortunately, judging by the setup, it was a quick death that could not be avoided. The victim put the noose around his neck and jumped. If he had even failed to go through with this, he still would have died weeks or even days later from a formed blood clot in his neck. We had searched the home of the victim for any evidence or further clues leading up to the suicide. All we could find was a letter at the entrance of his home, thrown to the right, in a ripped notebook in the victim's room. With in the right. letter, we had discovered that his family had left him for the week almost fully neglecting the minor. As if they had enabled like, this bruh. to happen, almost on purpose even. We have contacted the victim's parents to notify them about the incident and further question them upon their return. We all had also noticed a mentioned name in said letter, a possible friend of the victim. Sorry, Although maybe? we shall not mention his name for the safety of his identity, we will question him later on too, to see what he has for us regarding any buildup on the situation. We have asked different students around the school about any correlation. It's insane that the, the big victim. day starts to get saying, such a huge quote, they lore knew behind it. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link this it down in right the description below as well. a sign of possible bullying towards the victim in the past, due to how we were told that this victim had a disorder, a different voice entirely at that. This was quite obviously a discrimination act, all because the guy had a different voice. Yeah. Because of that, to guys, of you tuning into this report, take care what you're saying to specific people. And let it remind you that no matter who you're talking to, treat them normally. We will now end this report with a live showing of when the police first had discovered the incident. The victim, of course, will be blurred out real the thing, safety okay? and comfort of everyone that is still watching. Beforehand, this is your local news station signing off. Anything else happen now? I don't like that the victim's name is called Alex, the same name that Symbol Games, the creator of these games has. Bro. Not cool. Alright, let's see what exactly the alert, huh? Yeah, that's how the game pretty much ended. So is this Zack, his friend? I wish it wouldn't be like that as well. There's a note hanging on the body. Do you believe me now? Bro. Come find me? Ah, that's a him. Come find him. What does that one even mean? Come find who?
I found you here, or maybe not. Nobody is actually there. Why is this so unsettling to watch? That thing again? This is how it stops with dedicated bros? Guys, cyber bullying or bullying in general because of someone's voice or because of someone's behavior or looks is not all right, okay? And I hope that you as a community are better than that. Stop being an asshole on the internet or in real life to some people, okay? If you got a problem with someone, there are different ways to, to solve problems. You can just talk to them or you can just, I don't know, avoid sad people, but bullying them is definitely not the right thing. Civil Games, I really hope that you're not planning to do any dark or stupid shit. Seriously hope so because you became a good friend over all these months and you're a very great game developer. Even though buttons and boxes is really, really rising up my blood pressure. But hey, there is still room for improvement and I'm sure that you're gonna fix all these bugs just like you did with the first tutorial level. My dedicated bros, Emperor Dead, I seriously hope that you enjoyed today's video and you know, I need to calm down after my mental breakdown. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to smash the like button, it would mean the world to me. Subscribe to Symbol Games, link to his channel is down in the description below. Support him on Patreon, support him so he can create even better games. He's actually doing a very, very great job. This is not even his best work in my opinion. But with that being said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. To rate the video or to give us your feedback, and we'll see each other in the next video. Thanks for watching my video, Kiribos, but stay awesome, stay safe, and see you, ciao!